Well, I gotta be honest with you guys, this is not the way I was hoping you guys would see the car the next time. What you guys see here is my oil pan for my transmission. I'm gonna show you. There is the guts of my transmission. Here you see my converter. This right here is the oil. Now before I move this, I want you guys to take a look at something. This is a magnet to start off and everything that you guys see there obviously is metallic. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little magic trick. Look how it changes colors. Ooh. It should not change colors like that. <laughs> it should not do that. God damn it, man. This is really sad, but... Oh, man. Dude, look how metallic that is. I guess she had a good run. Trans held in there pretty good for about four or five years. Pretty aggressive driving. Aggressive, aggressive driving, but it all came at a cost. God damn it, man. Bro, I am really bummed out about this. This is absolutely clutch material. Mixed with metal. There's definitely metal in here. I'm gonna get something to scrape this off. This is terrible. Ready to see the pain? Oh my God, bro, look at that. The, the oil was changed and I put maybe 2,000, maybe 2,000 miles on it. But I mean, it was 2,000 of very, very, very hard miles. Now, I'm not really too sure on, on that filter. I'm not sure if that was the correct filter that the car, that the transmission needed to have, but I mean, it is what it is now. At least everything under here is nice and healthy. Oh man. Dude, this sucks, man. The, the timing couldn't have been any worse. See, nice and beautiful, clean oil. Everything's still good on the motor, thank God. Obviously, right, it, it is a new motor. <laughs> um, but I guess, um, let me guys, let me give you guys a little bit of a background as to why I'm changing this out now. Um, so, I do have a TikTok account, right? And over there on TikTok, people have been calling each other out for like ever. So I decided to get involved in that and I called out um, Boosted Lucky, which I'm sure many of you guys know who that is. He's gone viral for many, many, many months already. Probably over a year now. He's always viral. Everybody's talking about him. So he's a cool guy. Uh, he's a friend of mine. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, it's like, I'm sure it's just a matter of time before I end up racing him. So I decided to make it public, like on, on TikTok. I called him out the first time with the Mustang, and um, we had gone back and forth. Either he had something going on, I had something going on, and then the day that we were actually gonna race, uh, something happened with the Mustang, and something ha ended up happening that same night with him, and you know, it just didn't go through. Sadly, after that, he blew up the motor in his car, and then I jacked up the, I think it was the transmission or something. I don't know what the hell I broke on my car. Long story short, we kind of went back and forth. We tried to schedule this, but something was either going on either on his side or my side. And then now finally, just recently, I replied to one of his videos and saying, you know, let's get this going. Obviously, maybe not the Mustang because his car's, you know, built, whipple, nitrous, like it's really, really fast, right? So I didn't think the Mustang had enough. So I was thinking, let's go ahead and just race him in this one. And I was ready to kind of go full out, right? I mean, I was going to show up and I was going to turn this thing on to setting five, which I've never shown on camera. Uh, but I was going to just let it all out there. And, you know, I was thinking who better to show. And I was thinking in what better way to show how fast this car really is than to race Mr. Boosted Lucky himself. And well, I decided, you know, I'm not going to take any chances. You know, if I'm going to race him, I want the car to be 110%. So I was doing a little bit of maintenance. And that's when I found this shit right here, the transmission. Um, I knew the car had felt a little weird. And I was thinking maybe just the oil was getting burned out. Maybe it was just time for, you know, a little bit of an oil change, maybe filter change. TH400 transmissions have a history of, you know, having like, delayed shifting or just something weird whenever the oil is bad 
unfortunately that was not the case for me so the the symptoms that i was seeing with this car is that whenever before when i would shift from first to second gear i could be going 80 miles an hour in first gear shift to second gear and i would go from 9100 rpms to 6500 rpms and it just like instantly like super fast it just keeps on pulling it never stops that in fact the speed would jump from like 80 to like 95 100 miles an hour within a second like super fast it was it was just snapping the gear well ever since i got the car finished up i noticed that whenever i was shifting from first to second i was dropping rpms down to like 6000 rpm instead of 6500 which in return was lagging it would take like another second for the power to come you know fully on and even many of you guys even caught that on some of my videos were like hey why are you shifting early why are the rpms dropping so low um and you know that's that's really what kind of caught me to start digging into it a little bit more but yeah now i know exactly why the car have felt sluggish yes i understand on the videos to you guys it might look like it's fast which i mean it is right i mean don't get me wrong it's still really really fast it's still picking up speed faster than 99 percent of the cars out on the street but it is not where it should have been and now i know why transmission's going out um so yeah i mean that's enough of me rambling on i really don't know what to do at this point um i'm gonna give you guys some advice man if you guys plan if you guys ever want to get into something like this you know these really high horsepower cars don't do it unless you have like you know very good secure income because it's always something it's always something something's always going to be breaking something's always going to be given out and it's like never ending bro like i i thought this car was 110 percent good and i'm wrong um if you guys want to help me out please 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 like comment subscribe to the you know to the channel you know just that's you guys can help me out <laughs> you guys could really help me out doing that man share my video to other people maybe people who don't know about my stuff because i think that's probably going to be my way out of this man like i i i mean i've been going through so much recently if you guys saw the previous video to this i've dumped thousands and thousands of dollars just into regular living expenses uh, god i feel like i'm bitching all the time i feel like i'm complaining and i'm sorry about that but i mean y'all know everything about me y'all know everything that i've gone through in my life my personal life i've really put it out here on on youtube i've never not so much on like instagram or tiktok but i've put a lot of this stuff out here on youtube so sharing the experience with you guys sharing what it's like with all these cars a lot of people think oh you have a supra you have the mustang you have all this you're lucky nah bro I, I mean lucky is definitely not a word i would choose to describe it um yes it's nice when they work but most of the time they don't and most of the time it is a major pain in the ass crazy amount of stress um but this is the hobby i chose this is literally all i know i don't play sports i don't do any of that stuff so yeah so at this point i don't really know what i'm gonna do I don't know if I'm just gonna put it back together and just limp it around and see how it does. I might YOLO it and still race them and if it, if it blows, it blows. I don't know. What would you guys like me to do? Would you guys like me to fix it? Which is gonna take, of course, a few months. Everything with these cars takes months. Or should I just say YOLO and, and just race them and see what happens? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, guys. I'm really curious to hear y'all's opinion about this. Later.